Hello, it's Jason Payne for Cold Banker Dean Hopper Realtors. Today I've got a very special treat for you. I've got a beautiful custom home we're gonna show off. It's located in Canyon Lake in the one acre community of Ensenada Shores. It's a beautiful community, very quiet community as well. And this is a custom home that was built in 2019 by Structure Custom Homes and it's on the market right now. Let's go check it out. All right, as you can tell, this is a beautiful two-story home. It is 3,518 square feet, like I said before, built in 2019. It is a five-bedroom, three-and-a-half bath home. And as of the beginning of August, 20, well, mid-August 2023, the seller is asking 935K for this. It's a gorgeous home. I want to show off kind of a the outside area this is a gated community very quiet i have seen a uh, few uh residents of this community driving around in their golf carts but i just want to show off the beautiful landscaping there's the driveway coming into the community and they got a little nice shaped driveway coming in but just the rocks and the landscaping they probably got about 100k done in just landscaping alone but I want to show off what this house kind of backs up to. And one of the reasons I want to show it off on video is I think I've been here before. I think a couple of years ago, I did a lot tour in this community. And I know for a fact it backed up to this pond we're walking up to. And I need to look at the address on it. The address of this one is 212 Sendera Way. I need to look it up in my archives and see if about four years ago I did a lot tour of this plot spot because I had someone looking build out here. So, and they love the fact that it backed up to this beautiful pond. At least, needless to say, my client did not buy that lot, but looks like somebody else might have. Now, it could have been one of these other lots, but I do recognize this beautiful pond. And like I said, this house I'm touring is on the market right now. And you would have your own little private access open only to the community for this pond. So great for going fishing. This is some beautiful water. You see they got a little dock back there, but this is absolutely gorgeous. You've got a little walking trail back in this area. All right, let's go back to the house and show it off. All right, coming back around towards the front of the house. Now I gotta point out the amenity center is probably about 300 yards down to the left. Stick around to the end of the video and I will show that off. It's got a nice pool, playground area. It's not the biggest amenity center, but it's very well shaded because as you can tell, there's lots of trees out in this community. That's a really good place. All right, let's check out this entryway. That is beautiful. And I love these double doors and they are big steel and heavy. All right, as always, make sure you hit that like button. That really does help. But let's come on in and check out this house. Shut the door because yes, it is hot outside. All right, coming in, you see they got some beautiful uh, wood or engineered wood flooring. Love the details that they put in the lighting in here. As I was going around turning on the lights, they all are dimmable it looks like they've got some fancy controls to really control all the lighting in this house so this is going to be your formal dining room space love what they did with the ceiling here lots of light and we'll jump right into the kitchen now this could be a deal break for some people but it does have a glass cooktop strangely enough i did just have a client reach out and they only wanted a glass cooktop so it all depends, but beautiful granite going all the way around. Love the industrial faucet here. Open up the big wide stainless steel sink. Really nice colors on this island as well. GE appliances, fancy dancy refrigerator there. Under lighting already put in and just beautiful. All right, let's check out the pantry. You got your microwave right above the oven here. Automatic light comes on with a pantry. So plenty of space in here. And we got the big main living area with a very tall
tall vaulted ceiling. Love what they did with this fireplace. Uh, you can tell they did have a TV mounted there. But yeah, they took this fancy design all the way up to the top. They do have power outlets built into the floor. And a lot of rooms in this house has this little cubby built in for the, everyone can have their little office. And I'll show that off a little bit later as we're going through the house. But while we're down here, and this extended island is perfect for putting your benches up and use this as your breakfast nook as well. You have a powder room set off to the side here. I don't have the lights turned on because every time you turn it on, the fan automatically comes on. Love the detail that they did here. And I'm like, I think this might be tile work that they put in. It definitely feels like tile, so I think it might be. But love all the detail they put in this is really nice. Let's turn that fan off. All right, coming in, this is the garage that leads into the mudroom. I just walked by really quickly. Got a really nice deep two-car garage. Plenty of space. You can tell they've got some extra storage here. But yes, we've got even more storage back behind here. So lots of storage. Does have a water softener already in it. That door opens up to the back patio, and we're going to head there right now. And a front access door leading to the front of the house. All right, here's your mud room where you come in. Take your shoes off if you need to. Got a little bench for shoes going. This is probably going to go with the owners, but it gives you some ideas. All right, I teased the outdoor area, and the outdoor area is a really big plus to this house. So they've got it kind of set up on two tiers. This is going to be your lower tier. You can tell they got the lights up there. Looks beautiful. So you're in the shade a lot in this house. And I uh, haven't checked to see which direction the house faces just yet. But there is a path. There it is. That path right there on the back of the house. That goes straight back to the pond we were at earlier. But I love the landscaping that they did, keeping this very low maintenance. The grass does have sprinklers in it, so it's even more low maintenance. I'm gonna pull up my phone, figure out what direction this faces. All right, west is off this way. So I'm glad they did this with the house. So even as the sun is setting back there, this part of the house is gonna create shade on this big patio. And you can tell they're using that as a fire pit as well. All right, let's head back on inside because eventually we are going to show that upstairs deck area. All right. We do have two bedrooms downstairs. They're both going to be like, uh, I mentioned there's five bedrooms in this house. Oh, here's another full bath because we have three full baths in here. Love what they did with the sink, but just really nice and the little uh, shower insert there. But you got these two rooms right downstairs, and this one has a really big closet, and I love the barn doors that just kind of slide open very easily to reveal a lot of closet space in this room. Big old shoe rack. Eight foot doors on the downstairs area. This room's really similar to the other one. Also has the barn door on the closet. The closet's just not as deep as the other one, but still a very nicely done closet. And I gotta show off this, what they've done under the stairs. They definitely have plenty of Harry Potter room space. I love the fact that they put a light going all the way back here as well. So if you need to store some more extra stuff, you can, and you can turn the light on to still see it. Or if you're grounding your kids under the stairs, eh, it'd be nice and leave the light on for them. I'm just kidding. Don't turn me into CPS. I, I don't do that anymore. All right, going upstairs. 
nice carpet going up these stairs <clears throat> all right now this is the master bedroom i'm gonna leave that one to last because i want to show off how cool that bathroom is but you do have your laundry room upstairs as well so beautiful granite up here the big sink washer dryer connections and lots of cabinets more bedrooms up top really good sized bedrooms and i mentioned before the office space all these bedrooms have these little office nooks so if you have a kiddo that <coughs> wants to have his own private place to put video games you can do that now these rooms up here are going to be a semi jack and jill bathroom so that means they're all going to have their own private sink beautiful floors and they will share this bathroom with a tub shower combination I left the light off because yeah the fan automatically comes on and it's kind of loud but this bathroom has the same nice light fixtures hey guys and now we're back out in the hallway again wait let me get this straight here okay this ba this bedroom has private access bathroom. to this. these other two rooms also have access to this bathroom so if you're in this bedroom you lock this door or at least if you're using it you close this door or close that door if you don't want any access get that straight so i apologize this was not a jack and joe bathroom that bedroom shares access to that bathroom all right got that squared away another really good sized room with an office nook as well and once again a nice size easily organized closet coming around I really like this room a lot this can be your game room setup with a wet bar so perfect place if you want to have your big screen you can put a movie screen up there make this a poker room whatever you want to do uh, really neat use of space up here like I said beautifully done tile uh, granite sink and just lots of space in here <clears throat> we're gonna go to the oh almost forgot this one our Texas basement so yeah we don't have a lot of basements here in Texas but we do have things like this look at this tons of room and if you see all the spray foam insulation it's over 100 degrees outside right now guys and coming into this room there's really barely noticeable difference in temperature from inside the house to this Ooh, i have not walked around the corner yet okay you have oh there's your water heater so if you're wondering where you're going to store stuff wow this has plenty of storage and you can see just how deep this insulation is so electric bills should be nominal i mean very minimum here because they got that spray insulation all through the raptors here this house is pretty much an igloo and uh, yeah i definitely love how much spray foam insulation they have in here you do have um, stairs going down into the garage because right now we're above the garage all right now we're going to head around to show off the master bedroom going around this just so you see where we are we're now above the main living room space to kind of have to make this curve around the upstairs all right now we're at the master bedroom really tall a-frame ceilings in here lots of woodwork on there plenty of size in this room but i wanted to show off the access to this deck from both the game room and the master bedroom just to really show off the view out here so we are definitely in the texas hill country it is beautiful out here 
So yeah, if you look around, you got a really nice view of everything out here. Uh, 46 is a few miles south of us. Oh yeah, we're just coming into the Canyon Lake area, the city of Canyon Lake. More view of the grounds. But yeah, when the weather's cooler, this is a perfect place to be hanging out outside and enjoying some gorgeous Texas nights. All right, let's check out this master bathroom because it's also really, really nice. All right, coming in, we got the luxury vinyl planks on the ground, so you don't have to worry about it getting wet. His and her vanity, a place to put a chair for your makeup. You got your sink right there and gorgeous lights. I love the rustic look on the mirror. Your big, I mean big, soaking tub. This thing is monstrous. So it's got the jetted jets in there, so super cool. <clears throat> And if you, it's hard to tell if it's on the, the camera's gonna pick it up, but there's a little soft blue hue on these windows. That tells me that those are very well insulated windows with uh, some gas. I think it might be argon or something in the windows, making them very energy efficient. Beautiful uh, shower, very deep. And man, I usually like the towel going all the way up. Well, they went all the way up and on the ceiling. You've got a rain head shower there as well so this is a super cool shower and another shower head right there the other vanity with lots of drawers and hookups you're coming into your master bedroom closet from upstairs lots of space in here little shoe racks and everything okay do have your toilet sitting right there so yeah you can be able to just shut the door all right let's head on back downstairs all right we are back downstairs so before i do my wrap up i definitely want to show off the mini center like i said earlier it's just down the road so let's head on out there right now all right, we are now at the beautiful pool out here at this community. It's, uh, as I'm filming this, it's Thursday. School's already started. So yeah, nobody out here at the moment. But I think this is a very quiet place. As I mentioned before, lots and lots of trees around here, lots of oak trees. Um, <clears throat> this community center is off the main drive coming in. But it's not a high traffic community. But there's your mailboxes right there. Here's my beautiful Ram pickup truck again. But I'm gonna walk around to the other side. This is a little clubhouse there, or bathrooms. Yeah, it looks like restrooms. Got a little place in the shade you could sit and just hang out if you wanna have a little margarita in the shade you can. All right, let me go show you a playground. All right, there's the pool hours. It's open from 9 a.m. till sunset. <sighs> Kind of walk around this beautiful community it is this community is all on septic but uh you're gonna get that anytime you're looking at one acre lot communities we have more area for the hanging out spots lots of places just lounge around and uh, watch people play in the pool like I said, lots and lots of deer out here. I just saw a whole handful of deer wandering around a second ago. Well, I wouldn't say this is the fanciest playground, but there is a playground out here. All right, that's going to wrap a tour of this beautiful custom home in the community of Ensenada Shores in Canyon Lake. Remember, this house was built in just 2019, so it's still quite new. This is not my listing. It's listed by a different coal banker, Dan Harper Realtor agent. However, I can represent anybody as a potential buyer of this house. So if you want some more information on it, feel free to reach out to me. The best way to do that is to just text me. My phone number will be on the final slide 
or if you're looking to move to this part of Texas and you've been watching my videos for a while, feel free to schedule a Zoom meeting with me. I'll leave that link in the description box. If you like this video, again, please hit that like button. Of course, I want you to share these videos with your friends and family and also subscribe to my channel. All right, take care now. Bye.